fig leaves will not remove poison fig leaves will not remove poison when Adam and Eve ate the food poison they did what everyone would do when they get food poison they tried to look for a cure they didn't go to God for a cure because God is holy and God does not have in his cabinet any cure for sin because there is no sin in heaven they thought there is no God never had any experience with that you know sometimes when I have a little problem or if you have a little problem you call your parents you say mom and dad did you ever have a same problem you know if you're a young lady and uh, you're pregnant you know you ask your mom you ask somebody who had the same uh, delivery I mean Mariana you know she's pregnant she's gonna be uh, delivering soon she's not gonna come to me and say Vlad you know any tips on delivery it's foolish yeah and she's not gonna ask Ilya for tips he has experience but with a lot of other things but not with this and sometimes we feel like when we sin it's kind of like coming to God asking for help but he has no experience with sin how can he help me and the first thing we do we don't go to him because going to God when you make a mistake is like going to a police station when you stole a car you just don't there's just few things you don't do and that's one of them and Adam and Eve felt like we can't go to God because he has no experience with sin we've never heard of stories of people disobeying and making it alive Satan didn't work well for him that's why he's crawling here and so we are we gotta find a way to fix ourselves and so they find themselves they find these fig leaves but the fig leaves are so thin the fig leaves are so fragile the fig leaves are so so weak that even after they put them on they still felt so ashamed and still felt so scared that the Bible says they hid themselves from God no wonder when Jesus came on this earth one of the things Jesus cursed being on this earth is fig fig tree because it's been humanity's self-medication fig leaves for some people fig leaves is a bottle of whiskey for some people fig leaves it's time they say if I could only get some just time will heal all my wounds for some people fig leaves is marriage I think the, all the abuse I had in my life that someone will fix it for some people fig leaf is a religion if I can only commit to go to church every week it will make all of my problems go away everyone has fig leaves and it's not a strange when you feel ashamed when you feel in sin when you feel down you always look for your fig leaf for some people it's a movie it helps you to zone out for some people it's working out you get lost and you you feel that pain and you push through you see the results and it keeps you helps you to keep confident every person has their fig leaf and fig leaf is sometimes not a bad thing it just doesn't work it just doesn't work and Adam and Eve had their fig leaves they they put them on and it did not work when God came he found them with fig leaves brought them out he said guys what happened why are you feeling so scared why are you feeling so shy what happened a few days ago you were running around butt naked everything was fine I'm not ashamed of you I don't hate you I don't think you're you're disgusting I made you I love you there's nothing wrong with you what what is oh oh and the first thing God said what did you eat the moment he saw people feeling bad he always asked them what was their diet your feelings are the direct result of your eating did you eat of that thing that I told you not to eat and Adam quickly says no it's her and she says no you don't get the point I'm not trying to blame you here we're trying to find the problem so that we can cure it and you're here shifting the blame on one another Genesis 3 21 says the following I'm gonna read it to you right now also for Adam and his wife the Lord made tunics of skin and clothed them one of the things that really has helped me is to know that Adam and Eve when they sinned 
and committed mistake and they felt like they disappointed God and they disappointed themselves that God had already tunics of skin in the closet so that you don't think I'm bluffing Revelations 3 8 says the following all who dwell on the earth will worship him whose names were not written in the book of life of the lamb who was slain from foundations of the world 1 Peter 1 20 he indeed was foreordained before the foundation of the world but was manifested in these last times for you you know what this means before God made the foundations of the world he already had Jesus as an option if we fall he will die Adam's mistake didn't catch God out of surprise the coat was already in the closet see Adam felt like there was nobody here on this earth and God will not understand and if he will understand he will not know what to do with me because he's never had an experience with sin he never had an experience to do with what I just done and Adam did not know that God in his closet did not have a rifle he had a coat The Bible says when Adam was leaving God put that coat on him and in the New Testament it tells us before the foundations of the earth Jesus Christ was already slain that means that he was already ready to go see in case these people will sin because they are capable of sinning I will die for them God didn't just make you perfect God made He made a way when you won't be. He made allowance. He didn't expect or anticipate. He didn't make a mistake in our DNA to cause us to sin. He gave us the free choice and He knows with free choice comes a great responsibility and that we could slip and fall. He knew the abilities of us to make mistakes. He knew it's within our reach and He knew that I am going to make a way just in case they do. I will have a coat in the closet. And then He looks from heaven and He sees you're looking for a leaf. You need to know God has a coat. God has a coat of tunic you know tunic of skin tunic of skin this is the first time an animal was killed in the Bible it wasn't killed by a human looking for food it was killed by God looking for clothes a lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth this is the time where a lamb was slain probably physically by God not for food of humans but for the clothing of humans see when a cow gives milk the cow does not lose life but when a certain animal gives its fur for your clothing for your garment that animal has to lose its life by giving you something to wear that's exactly what happened with Jesus on the cross he gave you his wear his righteousness so he had to die so you can wear that skin of his God has it in his closet there's a story in the Bible that really resonates that for me it's a story of a father and two sons this father was getting old and whether he had a doctor's report that he was dying we don't know but he was nearing his death and he decided to gather both of his sons and divide his money with them his money with them it wasn't their money he was dividing it was his money imagine you working as a hard-working person you have your 401k or you have your Roth IRA whatever you have for your retirement you have a lot of money you got properties you got cars and at the end of your life you're not dead yet but before your death you decide to kind of you know split your inheritance amongst your kids now it's your stuff and he divides his inheritance between his kids because one of the kids came to him and said dad I know you're not dead yet I want your stuff 
if you could have hurried up to die would have been better but you seem not to die so can I get your stuff before you die what if you don't die imagine an insult you get if one of your kids loves your stuff more than your life your stuff the ones you work so hard for our kids like we have five of us we will never be able to do it to our parents if we come and say mom and dad we know you still got a lot of years on you but that house that you have that car that you have could you split it among us you would see us in jail you're not gonna see me driving my parents car because they will say this is our stuff you go get your own stuff but this dad looks at his literally forgive me stupid son and instead of giving him a slap in the face says, you stupid I don't know how which track train tracks you came up but you're crazy I'm alive and I'm not giving you my car because you're over here decided to have my stuff you're getting nothing but this dad gives him I wouldn't do that I wouldn't be able to do that God does gives us the free choice knowing we could turn against him no we can give him a middle finger knowing we can turn our back and say I don't want to do nothing with you and he'll still let the sun come every morning just for you the very ones who will turn their backs and say I don't want to do nothing with you God leave me alone I wish you wouldn't exist and God says you wouldn't exist either but because I'm so good I still let you exist imagine that the love some people think that God's love is the fact that God let Jesus die on a cross God's love is the fact God let you live imagine how much I mean we committed treason and God still lets us have good days still lets rain come upon upon our crops still lets sun come upon us still lets us have breath and everything and God this father lets his son go away with all of his inheritance though he's hurting him embarrassing him ruining his reputation he still lets him do that and this son the interesting part he wastes all of that money and finds out my dad is still not dead imagine the dilemma it's one thing if you wasted the money and he's dead you could come back and say well he died I wasted his stuff let's start all over but you come back home realizing all of the things he worked for all his life he's not even dead and you wasted that imagine the shame imagine the guilt I wouldn't be able to come back to him but there being there inside of that pig pen wasted everything knowing dad is still alive he says I will go and I'm not gonna ask to be his son I'm not gonna ask for anything because well I wasted all of my portion he said my dad is so good he loved me when I was at my stupid he will accept me to work for him and he makes his way to his dad he knew his dad had a coat hanging in a closet he comes and the Bible says the first words come out of his mouth is dad I am not worthy to be your son and his dad stops him there the reason why he stops him is because you're not worthy you're not a son because of worth you are a son because of your birth he says son no 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 no. you don't become a son by worth and you don't lose being son by worth it has to do with the birth and you are my son he embraces him he brings a coat they, they bring a ring on him and the bible says they throw a party and when the older son was mad and not happy he looked at him and he says my son used to be dead when he had all the money now when he stings like a pig he's alive that is God for you.